Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna talk about more battery degradation. So, um, recently I managed to borrow uh, another Model 3 long range, uh, and that car is similar age as uh, MZ Hammer. That one is about 12 months old, mine was 14 months. And then that car has done uh, 61,000 kilometers, and mine was you know, 60,000, so very similar in age and uh, kilometers driven, right? Um, but then, if you look further, now I plugged the uh, scan my Tesla. I mean, well, I plugged the OBD uh, adapter thing and then looked into scan my Tesla, and I could see that uh, that Model Three had done uh, way less DC fast charging versus AC fast charging. So, uh, actually, uh, it's 36% AC. Uh, sorry, 36% DC and 64% AC. And if we compare it to MC Hammer. MZ Hammer has done a lot of DC fast charging and actually in that, that ratio is 64% um, DC and 36% AC, just a coincidence. But of course, if you add those together, mine is way more uh, energy wise because I've been hammering hard, I guess. Um, but okay, so you know, based on recent um, range uh, degradation test with MC Hammer, I figured out that uh, when you look at those numbers uh, in Scan My Tesla, what the car, what the BMS guesses that you will get out of the battery, you have to subtract about 0.5 kilowatt hour due to heat loss. So I guess it's it's close enough approximation because I didn't care. I mean, didn't feel like driving this this Model Three all the way to zero to measure it. Uh, it's probably close enough, right? Um, and then, so um, I measured before that a new Model 3 battery should have a 73 kilowatt hour available from 100% down to zero. There is some, they call it zero mile buffer or whatever, you know, uh, below zero, but I usually don't count that one because over time that buffer tends to be eaten up. And also when you go past zero, you don't really know how much you have left. So I run out of juice many, many times. That's why I never count on anything below zero. Yes, it's just the, the general thing. I, I don't do that in any EV because many EVs will actually stop exactly at zero. For example, e-tron or some of those Korean cars. So uh, yes, uh, anyway, uh, if you look at the, this Model 3, uh, it claims that uh, it has 73.8 kilowatt hour if you charge it 100%. And then that one, for some reason, uh, says that the buffer below 0% uh, is 3.2 kilowatt hour. And then if you subtract uh, 2.5, uh, 0.5 kilowatt hour from it, you get that uh, it will be 701 kilowatt hour if we would do the degradation test like I did recently and that equals to only 4% degradation on his car well and if you remember MC Hammer uh, MC Hammer I measured 6% degradation so I have actually significantly less energy than him uh, it's actually one point uh, how much is this I'm gonna do the math 1.3 kilowatt hour less yeah so wow, um, why why is that? Uh, okay, but by the way, one one thing though, uh, region. I also look at region. By the way, uh, the other Model Three had way more region than me. Um, three thousand over three thousand kilowatt hour. I have only have one thousand six hundred kilowatt hour. So uh, why is that? Um, I think the other owner. I haven't asked him, but uh, based on his driving, based on what I saw, seems like he drives mostly in cities and whatever. And then you have more region right as for me okay i still use no, uh, maximum region when i can i don't use low region uh, i'm more of a highway uh, left lane hugger so i would just drive fast and then i don't region that much because it's more, more highways and less city driving but it seems like uh, city or, or the, the region uh, doesn't count negative towards degradation because uh, most of the time when you region you have only about 10 to 50 kilowatt input power it's basically when you region you charge the battery mostly in bur short burst you charge the battery for five seconds or something normally you don't region more than about uh, about 30 seconds unless you go down the mountain but still when you go down the mountain you don't you don't region 100 kilowatt uh, well actually this car can't do it but you don't region 70 kilowatt for several minutes which is actually uh, very light fast charging if you compare to 250 kilowatt uh, supercharging or something so i would say that based on this uh, the region doesn't really hurt the battery that much i mean okay it still counts micro cycles but it's really no big deal there but um, uh, based on this at least based on uh, the numbers here uh, it seems like um, fast charging 
this is actually bad for the battery. I mean, all the theory behind it, uh, if you just Google about this, you know, uh, fast charging will degrade the battery faster. Uh, what happens in Tesla and all the other EVs is that when you fast charge, the temperature will rise uh, because of the fast charging process. But Tesla and many other EVs also actually actively heats up the battery. Uh, like, especially, I, I know Taycan does it, uh, and I'm not sure about the other EVs, but um, they will actively heat it up to over 50 degrees Celsius so it can take faster charging uh, at higher state of charge. And batteries, they don't like being at that high temperature for too long. Um, but it's, on the other hand, it's just for a, a limited time. Usually, let's say about uh, half an hour, you, you, you do that charging session. Then, and then after you unplug, it will actually start cooling down a little bit. Not too aggressive, it will cool down. But uh, you actually spend about one hour at some high-ish temperature for each charging, fast charging session. And then, of course, if you hammer a lot per day, then it actually becomes many, many hours of um, high temperature. Yeah, so uh, I think that actually is the one that kills the the, um, the speed or I mean, it kills the battery over time. Um, but anyway, you know, this is just one observation from my car versus another car with similar age. So actually it would be interesting to hear you guys, but uh, you kind of need to have Scan My Tesla. But I know that Scan My Tesla is getting more and more common. So if you would check your car, look at DC charge total and then AC charge total, and then also look at nominal full pack uh, and also energy buffer, and then also age and odometer. Uh, I want to know, uh, just please comment in the comment section. I can do the calculation or actually if you could also do it, we can see how much degradation you have and we can try to compare a little bit here to, to figure out uh, how how is DC fast charging affecting uh, this because there are many people out there who claims that supercharging or DC fast charging will not hurt the battery but I have, uh, I have believed since day one, since Millennium Falcon time, that fast charging will hurt the battery. I just didn't know how much. Yeah. So I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.